coming from the skies. We're trucking it in. It's all about the snow. And it's all about the cold. That too. Wait until you see some really? of the temperatures I have in the forecast. Oh, First damn. of all, yeah, we were up in Park City and it was snowing hard. Anywhere from 12 to 24 inches in Park City and the Snyderville Basin out towards Kemble Junction. We had heavy snow reports in the Heber Valley and significant snow up there near Sundance. The, uh, we had a report of 48 inches of snow in the Aspen Meadows area. Now that is the greatest snow so far, but when you get that much snow, you get a lot of powder. And Jared sent this from Snowbird today. Is that a person eating snow? Yeah, that's what we call beautiful, perfect powder in Utah. David Huntington in Fairview says, where's the car? It was buried, and this is the upper Sam Pete Valley that was hit hard as well today. So in some spots, it was really a hard, heavy, wet snow. In other areas, nothing fell at all, at least not until this evening. It is snowing heavily in Cedar City right now. Anywhere from five to seven inches of snow in the areas uh, around the benches of Salt Lake, the valleys, three to four inches of snow, and we're not done yet. This storm system still has a punch to it, especially for the east bench areas along the Wasatch Front and not so much for the valleys. Three inches in Pleasant Grove, a lot of water. We had one and a half inches of water reported in Pleasant Grove. And up on the top of Ben Lomond Peak, the report, 6.1 inches of water in 29 inches of snow. Now tonight, travel on Interstate 15 has been horrible. You have to remember, we have a gap in the radar right here. It does not do a very good job of seeing the precipitation across central Utah. Many times people complain to us that we don't talk enough about central Utah. Well, part of the reason is we don't have radar coverage. We do in St. George, where it may snow a little bit tonight. It is snowing in Cedar City, Tokerville, and over towards the uh, uh, Zion National Park area. Pretty good snows there. Now let's go north. We have been seeing a little bit of snow south of the lake. These are some little lake snow squalls. And as the colder air moves across the lake, at least initially, we're going to have some snow to the south of the Great Salt Lake. And eventually, some of that snow will move into the Salt Lake Valley tomorrow night and probably even into Friday in Davis and Weber counties because the air is so very, very cold. Tonight, heaviest precipitation across central and southern Utah. Tomorrow, some of this is going to be heavy around Blanding. Watch as the front moves eastward. There's a wave of intensification right there. So Blanding, you could get hit very hard. Monticello as well. Even Moab, you could see some pretty good snow tomorrow as the low pushes away. Lingering snow along the Wasatch Front, and you can see pushing up against the I-15 corridor. That's where the snow will be the heaviest. And then watch as it bends over right there. You see this? We're into Friday at 10 p.m., and we're still seeing some snow showers. That's due to lake effect that could very well be a big factor in the weather for the Salt Lake Valley and the Wasatch Front for Davis, Salt Lake, and Weber counties going forward. So heavy snow tonight, tomorrow morning, eastern Utah breaking up a bit in the afternoon. The snow will be heavy tonight in Cedar City, lingering tomorrow right there along the I-15 corridors. If you have to travel tomorrow, it's still going to be very cold and there still will be some, some areas of snow. So do be very, very cautious. And we have some snow showers even for St. George up to two inches in the higher elevations above about 3,000 feet. Warming up later on. Here's the Wasatch Front forecast. As I mentioned, the northwest flow favors the bench areas, the east bench areas, and the mountains. Very cold tomorrow. Maybe a little peekaboo sunshine and temperatures get even colder and the lake effect snow showers in Davis and Weber counties with highs of uh, in the upper teens Friday and Saturday. Friday night is New Year's Eve and the low Saturday morning, oh. New Year's Day zero. Wow. That's incredible. Okay. Happy New yes. Year. So wear layered clothing yeah. if you're going out to see the fireworks. Eve, yeah. Gotcha.